everybody, I'm Blazer and Beckner, and welcome back to Sand of Drop Falling to Poison. Oh, that's how we are in here. Yeah, I hope that rest is all. Now that we're inside, like this is the difference between Hamino and I. Not much common ground between why we became friends is... <gasps> Suddenly the light fades from my vision. It wasn't just that I had become dark, but I had that, that I had the sensation of being unable to breathe. Uh-oh. But rather than sweating, I get a little mad. <laughs> sorry, sorry! Hearing my wordless protest, me on her hands away. I get from playing the Who Am I game while covering someone's eyes, but covering up someone's mouth was just was just too it was just like Kimino. Oh wait, so that was just Himino. Oh, for the second there, I thought it was something bad was gonna happen. Oh! When I puff out my cheeks and object, Camille just smiles at me. It's because you were staring at me into space, Mayu! Oh. Instead of apologizing, Camille blew on the nape of my neck. Without thinking, I made a weird sound. Embarrassed, I looked around two or three times, but the pedestrians walked my scene unperturbed and didn't even look our way. Well, good, I don't want them to. The culprit who surprised me moves in front of me before I realize it. You mean, Hamino? <laughs> I got to hear something good! No, you didn't! Moreover, you're. As I say that, I check the time on my smartphone. It's 3 minutes to noon, our agreed upon meeting time. It's not time yet. How rare! That's rude, jeez! I'll make you. I'll make you a weird noise again, please don't. Saying that, Hamino opens and closes his fingers in a small, swift, grasping motions. At times like this, I know I had better change the subject or get messed with by Hamino again. Oh, by the way, did you buy a new one? You mean my necktie? Yes, I did! I thought I should get one to match my shorts. You and I haven't hung out since midterms, Mayu. If I don't sign today, I'll really be out of money. What's the aquarium? You're still set up finding out about the urban legends then? Of course! That's my number one goal! But as usual, I can't count the things I want to do on just one hand. Make a list then. Okay, okay, I get it. As long as I eat cookies and cream, that is absolute! I haven't forgotten! Anyway, Mayu, aren't your sandals new? Camino says she, she looked down at my feet, talking about three times as fast as she does in class. Yeah, nice, aren't they? They're super cute! How cool! I want a pair too! Nope, that will be too similar. And these are the only pair of sandals I have for the summer. Talking like this, it put me at ease. Aww. Unlike myself, who's childish, Camino knows a lot about fashion and trends. Even here in Manton, it seems like she blends in. Most importantly, by being with Himino and constantly chatting, I no longer feel lonely. Aww. Oh yeah, Himino, why'd you bring such a huge bag? I'm glad you asked. With a hee hee, Himino opens the Boston bag she lets sink down from her shoulder. A variety of things come out, such as a flashlight, incense propellant, a simple blanket, a first aid kit, matches, and snacks like chocolate and cookies. What is all this? Hamino, Hamino, where do you plan on going? Ignoring the twitch developing in my face, Mino dumps her chest. Jeez, the aquarium! But since we're investigating urban legends, we should at least have some, some supplies. Rather than an investigation, the equipment she ha has reminds me more of going camping in the mountains. The snacks and blanket aside, we're in the city this size when we need insect propellant or a flashlight. I kept those feelings to myself and just smiled. I let out a breath that is half ex ex exasperated, half amused. I don't get sick of being with Hamino. Whether Hamino, Hamino is aware of my ex exasperated gaze or not, she starts to take sign out and quickly shows it back in. She gives a smile, implying some secret. Oh! for you to see that! Ah! What were you about to pull out? I'm not telling! Upon saying that, Himino quickly closes
goes is the bag. The way I see it, it is a wonder she fed all this way she had out just a moment ago. I wonder where it's all being stored. By the way, no club today? I asked with the underlying question of whether or not today is a day off the for the club. At my question, Kamino averts her eyes. Nope. Probably no club today. Really? Giving a brief answer, I start walking. Upon hearing her reply, I immediately understand it as, ah, she skipped it again. But not wanting to ruin the merry mood, I merely quicken my pace. I'm not in any clubs, but even I know it's not good to skip. Speaking honestly, I'm ordered to show up for her club, as she seems to be respected even by students from other schools. Coming in together like this makes me equally guilty, though. Once I get thinking, I don't usually stop, so the conversation shifts to a ramen shop that catches my eye. Mayu, do you want to get lunch? Huh? You caught that? Ooh! Feeling as if she is seen right through me, we head into a nearby coffee shop. Oh. It is apparently famous following its coverage in a magazine for a sandwich that was overflowing with vegetables. I say apparently because on excitedly finding the restaurant, Camino shared this. Compared to a hamburger shop, this place is a bit intimidating and trendy to me. You know, it doesn't bother me. Shoving the roast chicken sandwich with the extra olives that I ordered into my mouth, the onions I have been feeling disappears. In contrast to my fervor, Camino will eat her av avocado and shrimp sandwich in small bites. Well then, about our plans for today. Camino starts as soon and as soon as we have finished eating. We'll start with the aquarium. No matter what, that's the main thing. So we'll look into the old man's ghost in the closed off deep sea fish bo booth rumors. After that, we'll go to the shops and finally have some ice cream. I think it's better to get to the cookies and cream first. If you eat two times, you'll mess up your stomach and get fat. You won't be able to wear a bathing suit. Aw, Himinu, it's no fair for you to put it that way. Camille is in the exercise club, so she will be fine. But for someone like me who doesn't exercise enough, it makes me stop and think. Having said I wanted to go to the pool, it is all the more important. Okay then, we'll stick with my plan. That was a delicious meal! Urged on by Camino, I decided to leave the ice cream shop for another time. Talking about silly things together, we leave the station behind. As opposed to the station's excellent cooling system, the city streets have a peculiar humidity and heat, heat to them that envelops our bodies. And I will see you in the next part. See ya!